Today, we're making tofu, but don't change the channel yet because I promise it's actually really good. We are making crispy air fryer tofu, and I'll bet that it is a game changer for you, just like it was for me. Welcome to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen. And I do focus on healthy, clean eating. And today we're talking tofu. Now, let me just tell you, I was never a fan of tofu, like ever. The truth is it just doesn't have very much flavor and the texture is a little eh, not great. Well, I solve all of those problems today. Uh, with the crispy air fryer tofu. Now, the keys to good tofu are good flavor and good texture. So let's talk about how to get both. We'll start with the texture. The first thing that you need to do when you get a block of tofu is to press it to get the water out. Oh, let me back up. The first thing is to actually buy the right kind of tofu. Now it's very important to buy extra firm, yes, extra firm because anything other than extra firm is really just going to break apart and you will not like the results with that. So get extra firm. The next thing you have to do to get the right texture is to press the water out. Some people will tell you this step is optional. I, I suppose it kind of is, but if you actually want good results with great texture, it's not really optional. So what you want to do is wrap the tofu block in a couple of layers of paper towels, put it on a plate, and then put something heavy on top of it. I use my cast iron pan, it's the perfect weight. Make sure that pan is centered over the tofu, otherwise you're gonna get kind of a sloppy sideways tofu block. That's not so good. So press the water out. I usually do it anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. I've done it with as little as 10 minutes, it does help. Uh, but really I think 20 to 30 minutes is probably ideal. Once you have all of the water pressed out, or at least as much as you can, then you wanna cut it into blocks. These little, they're about one inch blocks. And this is also what's going to add to the crispy texture because you have a lot of surface area for the amount of tofu that's in there. You know, why was it so important for me to get tofu that I actually liked? I've given up a lot of meat in my diet, so I wanna make sure I get enough protein and tofu is an excellent source of protein and the key was just to make it taste good. So that's what we're doing today. Now that you have your tofu cubes, you just wanna put them into a fairly large mixing bowl and now it's time to add flavor. Like I said before, tofu by itself does not have a lot of flavor. So you gotta add it. Now, my favorite way to start is to take a tablespoon of soy sauce. I use low sodium soy sauce. You could also use liquid aminos if you would prefer and drizzle it all over the tofu. Make sure to use a silicone spatula to very gently mix the soy sauce. As an aside, speaking of spatulas, um, this is my favorite spatula. It's from Eli Home. I will put a link to it below. Um, I have their cutting boards too. You probably saw that as I cut the tofu absolutely wonderful product. So I will put links to that below. So gently stir the tofu with the spatula to make sure the soy sauce coats all of it evenly. Now, if you really want that depth of flavor, you can let it sit with the soy sauce for another 20 minutes. If you don't have time, then go ahead and add the seasonings. Now you can skip that step. It does add just a little bit better depth of flavor though. All right, next add the spices. Now here's the beautiful thing about tofu not having any taste is that you can put any taste you want in it. So if you're in the mood for Mexican, then add some Mexican seasonings. I am actually just gonna do a blend of salt and fresh ground pepper and cayenne and smoked paprika. I have the link to the full recipe below, but go ahead and get creative on your spices. Now just sprinkle that all over the tofu. And as we're sprinkling, I would like to know, what do you like to use your tofu in? Put a comment below. Do you put it in salads? Do you put it in pasta? Uh, do you eat it by itself, just as little nuggets? It's a great little snack that way. Okay, so stir all of those spices. Again, you do wanna be gentle because you don't want the tofu falling apart. And see, I have a few pieces breaking apart, no big deal, but you really do wanna be careful. You don't want them all breaking apart. 
All right, the last secret. This is what helps get it really, really crispy, uh, cornstarch. And this is, again, one of those things, if you don't like cornstarch, you can eliminate this step. It just won't be quite as crispy. Um, I put about a tablespoon for one block of tofu. You wanna sprinkle it all over, and then again, we're going to gently fold it all together. Okay, the tofu is now fully coated with the spices and the cornstarch, and of course, that soy sauce that gives it a lot of flavor. Now it's time to put it in the air fryer. Now, a couple of things about air fryers. Depending on the model, some of them require preheating and some do not. Mine does not, which is a reason I love it. Uh, I will put a link to that below as well. And what you wanna do is put the tofu in a single layer. Uh, so you might have to do this in two batches depending on how big your air fryer is. Mine's quite big, so I can do it all in one batch. Okay, so as you can see, I hope you can see that, um, I have spread this into one single layer. It is a little bit crowded, uh, but this will be just fine. But again, if yours is a smaller one, you might wanna do two batches. And now you're just gonna put it in your air fryer. You wanna put it in at 400 degrees, but I highly recommend for the timing starting at 10 minutes. Air fryers do cook differently depending on the brand. Uh, usually it takes 12, maybe 14 minutes, but start checking at 10 minutes because you don't wanna burn it. And you do wanna give it a good shake or a toss halfway through. So let's get it cooking and we will check it in 10 minutes. Okay, it is time to check the tofu. But first, if you are interested in easy, healthy recipes, I do invite you to subscribe and go ahead and hit that notification bell because that way you will be alerted every time a new video comes out. But I also wanna take this time to let you all know, I actually have another YouTube channel. Uh, it is called The Freedom Strategy, and it is all about turning your dream life into your real life. And I talk a lot about how to make multiple streams of income and how to use your assets to make money. So if you are interested in how to live the life of your dreams, I will put my most recent video up here, and I invite you to check it out. Okay, tofu time now. I did peak at 10 minutes and it did require three additional minutes. And look at that. It is nice and crispy and crunchy, but let's pour it out on the plate just to see. Okay, you guys, look at this. It's perfect. You know, I think that tofu gets a bad rap because people think it's just like chicken or it's just like beef or pork. It's really not. If you're thinking of it as a meat substitute, then this is probably not for you. But if you were thinking of it as a wonderfully tasty, crispy way to get your protein, this tofu is for you. Mm. You know, you guys, it really, really is good. It's just kind of shocking because the first many times I made tofu, it sucked. So I hope that this recipe has helped you maybe open your mind a little bit to tofu. Uh, if it has, give it a thumbs up and Thank you for joining me on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. Happy cooking, happy eating, and you know what? These little nuggets would be great dipped in a garlic aioli sauce. Huh, fabulous. I'm gonna make some right now.